If you don't have a backyard, that's okay because this West Saanich couple happily share their world with the world. It just sort of evolved. Theirs is an oasis. From a Canadian perspective, it's only found in a very, very tiny part of Canada. A Gary Oak Meadow. Some of these trees are over 100 years old. A pine forest. A pond. A perfumed symphony of color. Flora and fauna captured on canvas, card, and blog. We started January 1st, and the goal was to get one every day. A new backyard species nearly every day. What happened to species of the day today? A follower's email keeps them dedicated. That never really occurred to us that people would actually be waiting to see what was coming. Leah and David call themselves compulsive explainers. I mean, Dave's worse than I am. <laughs> Biologists by day, their blog is a tiny voice in a world of 150 million explainers. We'd never actually run a website before, so that was kind of an interesting part of the challenge. You know, there's a certain don't want to be left in the 20th century or something. And then this business about just trying to show people how much is in their own backyards. An average Joe is going to have many of these species either in their backyard or in some place really close to where they live. Nearly impossible a few years ago, blogging, they say, is simple now. Templates, many free on the web, eliminate computer code. Google it. Life's always good with a little challenge. Or talk to your internet service provider. And you can be explaining and proclaiming too. You lie on your stomach and you look at a rock and there are, I don't know how many kinds of lichens. It's a busy place right now. Over 100 species of birds, 20 mammals, reptiles, amphibians. And then when you start getting into the insects, it's hundreds of thousands. Writer Richard Louvre says that many people suffer from nature deficit disorder. He documented how divorced we were becoming from the natural world, particularly kids. Their blog challenges others to take a closer look at their worlds. One young follower now documents a species a week in photographs. That's really cool. And I just got word last week that a friend of mine in, in Nova Scotia is going to try doing a species a day at his side of the country. Kids are the future stewards of this planet. Unfortunately, these days they spend more time inside than out. And so they get sort of disconnected with the reality of what actually supports life on the planet. And uh, I think that is going to mean some really bad decisions in the future. By looking deeper into their backyard, they've discovered many things. It's been an eye-opener. We've got a species of spider on this property that's a new record for Canada. Even a rare bee. One of the first species that Leia tried to do was the commonest lichen, which is right above my head here. At the moment, even the experts aren't sure what it is. It's amazing what you can notice if you're paying attention. And then blogging it, a species a day. We'll always be counting and looking and noting. Sharing what's important to all of us. In West Saanich, I'm Paul Beilstein. <laughs>